let's go over another example of Babylonian subtraction. So, Babylonian subtraction. This will be our second example. Our first thing we need to do is start out with a couple numbers. We'll make these a little bit bigger than we did for the last example. And let's say we want to subtract this number right here. So the first thing we always want to do is look at the ones place. Here we have three ones and we're trying to take away six. We can't really take away six from three, so what we need to do is borrow. So we're going to, let's mark that one out, and we'll draw ten more on this side. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we have 13, and we're trying to take away 6. Well, 13 take away 6 is a total of 7. So our final answer will have 7 of these. 6, 7. All right, let's go to our next place. So we've, we now have 3 of these tens places, and we're trying to take away 2. Well, 3 minus 2 is 1. So we have one of those left. Our next column, we have two of these ones. We're trying to take away one. What's simple enough to do? So let's just draw one there. And then our next place, we have three, take away three, which is zero. Three minus three equals zero. So this right here is our final answer.